The Central Bank of Bangladesh has helped tremendously in continuously uh, creating, uh, you know, better uh, export regulations and, you know, everything, the tools that are required for a sector to grow. And I think that has really been, you know, this synergy between the government and the private sector. Citing the recent economic survey 2020-21, the economic survey actually cites Bangladesh's export performance and states that Bangladesh holds some lessons in terms of building specialization for products in which it is competitive. Uh, Mr. Rahman, you are very familiar with trade, export and import, having been part of the Beximco group uh, for so long. Uh, what would you think are the reasons behind Bangladesh's emergence as, an, as such a dominant export power. And in today's world of disrupted supply chain, uh, is Bangladesh now a key contender for components of global supply chains to be based out of Bangladesh? What, what are your views in, on that? We have been able to achieve that for a combination of factors. I think one, because the private sector has invested very heavily onto areas and sectors which we as a nation were very good at. We developed the workforce, we skilled that particular workforce, we created the, you know, the relationships with everybody in the, in the global arena who help uh, in those sectors. The, the country has uh, invested a lot into not just manufacturing but the development of fashion trend going forward. Uh, and, and so coming back to my point, I think the government has really helped these sectors. Uh, trade bodies have spoken to governments and many times they've always helped listen to what needed to be done. The Central Bank of Bangladesh has helped tremendously in continuously uh, creating, uh, you know, better uh, export regulations and, you know, everything, the tools that are required for a sector to grow. And I think that has really been, you know, this synergy between the government and the private sector and, and the same uh, thought process has allowed Bangladesh and Bangladeshi export-oriented companies to be where they are today. Any, any particular sectors, Mr. Rahman, where you think supply chain Bangladesh would be able to capture very quickly? I think um, <clears throat> the garment-related supply chain, you know, it's not, the garment industry and the textile industry is not necessarily only based on a shirt or a trouser. There's many other things behind it. And I think already you will see in the last couple of years, there are a lot of businesses that have developed out of Bangladesh, which are complementary products to the garment and textile industry. Um, apart from that, uh, Bangladesh over the last uh, couple of uh, years has created and is in the process of creating over a dozen um, investment zones, international investment zones, these are special economic zones uh, under the BIDA, which is the Bangladesh Investment and Development Authority. This is world-class, globally recognized standard economic zones for people to come in as invest foreign investments into the country or even local business houses to go into an economic zone and create any sort of you know product in that supply chain especially for this region or even America and Europe right. we are seeing multiple people who have already come in multiple companies in Bangladesh who have started um, you know uh, the manufacturing of plastic products for example mm -hmm. you know your homeware products from that to furniture mm -hmm. right to uh, uh, you know um, synthetic wood products, so it's it's really a whole whole chain of items. I don't think it'll be any particular item, uh, but you know um, the economic zones will help definitely to bring out this uh, global supply chain uh, phenomena for Bangladesh as a positive, definitely.